The Austrian Federal Institute of Scientific Film Vienna presents a film by the Institute of Zoology, University of Vienna, and the Institute of Biosciences, University of Sao Paulo. The Atlantic Forest, originally extending over all the coastal region of eastern Brazil, nowadays is restricted to isolated remains of undisturbed vegetation. Here at Pisinguaba, at the northernmost coast of the state of Sao Paulo, the topography is pronounced and the mountain escarpments are still predominantly covered by primary rainforest. Characteristically, these forests host a high diversity of epiphytic plants, such as ferns, orchids, and bromeliads. Abundance of bromeliads is one of the most diagnostic features of the Atlantic rainforest. Due to the mountainous landscape and high precipitation, streams and creeks are typical habitats of this ecosystem. Associated with these streams and the marginal vegetation, a rich amphibian fauna can be observed. The most common nocturnal frogs of these lotic habitats are the leptodactylid species Thoropa miliaris and Cycloramphus boraciensis. During daytime, the most frequently encountered amphibians of Atlantic forest streams are the diurnal frogs of the leptodactylid genus Hylodes. Hylodes philodes is a small species found calling on rocks and fallen logs adjacent to the streams. Boulders emerging within the creek, where water current is strong during the rainy season, are a distinct feature of this noisy environment with long distance visibility. It is here where Hylodes asper is most frequently found. This medium-sized frog with a mean male snout vent length of 40 millimeters characteristically occupies elevated sites in the splash zone. Territorial males are vocalizing throughout the day, producing calls consisting of high-pitched trills. Additionally to calling, the exposed male frogs perform conspicuous movements with their hind legs. Leg waving is performed with either the right or the left hind leg by slowly stretching it upwards. Leg extension is frequently, but not necessarily, synchronized with sound production. Foot flagging and calling is addressed towards conspecific territorial intruders. Leg waving is initiated by slowly wiggling and twisting the white surface of the hind toes towards the front. The movements of the white colored toes contrasts sharply with the dark background and dorsal surface of the signaling individual. In slow motion, leg extension, orientation of toes and protrusion of the vocal sacs can be clearly observed. The toes, with distinctly enlarged tips and white coloration on the upper surface, are spread out and orientated towards the front when the leg is fully extended. Wiggling of toes without otherwise moving the legs occurs occasionally between foot flagging displays.
With the body remaining in an absolutely stationary position, the hind leg is raised upwards at an angle of 45 degrees, performing an ellipsoid arc. Although the hind legs are frequently extended in alternation, the foot flagging behavior does not necessarily follow a distinct pattern. Displaying the white-toed hind legs and the exposure of the white chest during the elevated calling position are distinct visual features, helping the addressee to localize the territorial calling male. Territorial males usually occupy elevated positions on rocks within the fastest flowing areas of the stream. Advertising stations are thus generally located in the noisiest parts of this habitat. Sound pressure level measurements at calling stations show a mean constant ambient noise level of 84 decibels with peaks reaching up to 87 decibels. Calls do not exceed 86 decibels at a 50 centimeter distance of the vocalizing individual. Thus, these high-pitched calls, even though spectrally differing from the broad-banded noise of the water current, hardly stand out against the ambient sound level. Foot flagging, consequently, is considered an effective mechanism to localize the advertising individual. Frequently, during short-range territorial encounters, a specific leg extension behavior can be observed. Instead of elevating the hind legs, they are stretched backwards at ground level. Calls given in this context consist of an irregular series of short, high-pitched notes. In the presence of other conspecific individuals, the same leg movements are occasionally performed by non-calling juveniles. Intruders invading the area of a territorial male are displayed at and chased until they leave the defended site. The complete visual and acoustic display patterns can be observed during chasing. As a striking case of convergency, visual displays involving movements of the feet have also evolved in other non-related tropical stream-adapted frogs. Foot flagging is known for ranid species in Southeast Asia and hylid as well as myobactrachic frogs from tropical northern Australia. The independent evolution of foot flagging behavior in frogs 
was probably the result of similar selective pressures acting in a noisy environment with long distance visibility in order to facilitate the localization of calling males. Although the frequent leg movements may attract visually orientated predators, the frogs performing the conspicuous displays may easily escape by simply jumping into the turbulent waters.